Hi, I'm Shimon County Executive Chris Moss, and I want to talk to you a little bit about our root slip and resolution policy since it's been in the news lately. We currently use a system called Novus, but we've migrated to a system called Granicus Peak. The Novus software was introduced in 2008, and the county purchased the software to facilitate the process of how requests for the legislature involving resolutions are presented to the legislature for review and action. The legislative clerk in 2008 made a request to the county executive for the authorization to purchase said software. The software begins on the executive end and then ends on the legislative end where they take action. Uh, this request was memorialized, as you can see, in Resolution 2008-184, and it clearly states that the purchase of the software is at the recommendation of the county executive. The resolution further states that the county executive is authorized to enter into an agreement with Novus Solutions for the purchase of the software. In reviewing the agreement with Novus Solutions, the county executive can terminate that contract uh, with a 90-day notice. But we haven't terminated the contract because it was brought to my attention that the legislature may want to continue to use Novus. But on the executive side, we're migrating to Granicus Peak, and there are some great reasons why we want to do that. First and foremost, it's going to streamline the approval process. So remember, uh, our resolution process begins normally with a department head. The department head enters their information into Granicus, which is eventually reviewed by the county executive's office. Once all the questions are answered from the department head, the county executive forwards it to the legislative chairman, and at that point, it's in the legislature's hands. We're not looking to have anything to do with the scheduling. The meeting types can be amended by the legislative clerks and et cetera. So it's really out of our hands at that point. But streamlining this process, uh, the new software um, allows me to sit at my desk or remotely and go ahead and get this stuff approved and flowing through the line so that it can get to, le to the legislature quickly. As you can see with this new software, it has a role designation already within the software. Some of the controversy on the legislative side involving this new software is the title of administrator and who has that title. We have dozens of software programs throughout Shimon County and they are all administrated by our information technology department. This software from 2008, uh, which is over 15 years old, for some reason was administered by the legislative branch. No other software in Shimon County is, and the new Granicus Peak software will also be administered by the IT department. The roles within the software are assigned by the IT department. For new Granicus Peak, legislative clerks will have the title of coordinator, the county executive will have the title of coordinator. The only administrators of this software will be the IT department. As you can see here, the roles within the software will be designated by the IT department. You can see Christopher Moss, coordinator, Megan Hill, coordinator. If you go up to the green, Aaron Dowd, uh, who is our director of IT, obviously he would be an administrator. All department heads would be drafters. They enter information into Granicus, at which time it will be reviewed by the county executive and then forwarded to the legislature for whatever action they see fit. The new software also contains an updated audit trail whereupon both the legislative and executive branches can review all data added, amended, deleted, and by whom. There's currently a double standard to how root slips are accepted by the legislature. And as you can see from a January 2nd meeting, the Multi-Services Committee had an item on their agenda pertaining to resolution calling for New York State Board of Elections to conduct an audit of voter registration rolls. This resolution, or the root slip for same, never came through the executive branch. It was entered somewhere in the legislative branch, and we were never advised of it. It also did not meet the 10-day cutoff date, which has been established by the legislature, which the executive branch has to follow and has been notified before that items can't appear till the next month because we missed the 10-day cutoff. So basically, I believe the audit trail is really going to assist us here where we can get right into this software and see exactly who did what, who removed what, who entered what, and that's not occurring now because at the end of the day, it's about transparency. And if we don't have that transparency, uh, which we don't with the current software, you know, then what are we doing? So this new software will provide that transparency for both the executive and the legislative branches. Not to mention, phase three of this software, which most likely will take place next year, will integrate the root slip system and, the resolu and resolution numbers with video pertaining to the same. 
if a Shimon County resident or anybody uh, knows what they're looking for, they can put in the resolution number. Not only will they be able to see the root slip process, the resolution, they'll also be able to see the video that corresponds with that specific resolution. So you won't have to watch 90 minutes of video. It will take you directly to that resolution number, how the vote went, what comments were made, and so forth. And that was the plan of this Granicus Peak software when we first went to live streaming from Granicus almost three years ago now. So, I mean, it's all coming together in phases, basically because of the cost. And finally, we've also learned that the current Nova Solutions software we've been utilizing uh, will have an end-of-life term most likely next year or the year after, so there's no better time to migrate to this new system. As always, if you have any questions in reference to the Granica Speak software and how we will facilitate the process that requests for resolutions go from the executive branch to the legislative branch, reach out to me. You can reach me personally at 607-737-2929 or you can email me at the address at the bottom of the screen. Remember, we're simply migrating to a new software, and I know from years at the Sheriff's Office when new software programs become available, it's hard for people to get used to them. But at the end of the day, uh, we need to keep the people's work moving along. So if you have any comments or suggestions on how we can make it better, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm Shimon County Executive Chris Moss. Thank you for tuning in.